What's up, family and friends? Good afternoon, and welcome to this live broadcast. It's a beautiful day out here. having good weather and I hope you are doing good wherever you are having beautiful weather also and enjoying your day because that is very important your happiness is a very, very important to you it's crucial don't let anyone rob your happiness don't let anyone rob your joy. Don't let anyone kill your joy. Don't let anyone drive you crazy. Have fun in life. Earlier today, I, my younger brother called me from Nigeria, so I had a video chat with my mother, my father, and my siblings. So we have fun, right? Because that's real. No matter what, as I say, don't ever hate your loved ones. They may have different beliefs, different views, but they are your loved ones. They are your blood. Their religion may talk them to not associate with you, but no, they are your loved ones. Anyone that believes that somebody like me we hate my loved ones for Jesus, for God, must be crazy, must be stupid. I cannot do that. I love my parents more than God. I love my parents more than Jesus. I love my parents more than any religion. That's one of the reasons I rejected Jesus. When I found out in Luke chapter 14 verse 26, Jesus said, I have to hate my family and hate myself to be his disciple. I said, fuck you, Jesus. Get out. I also know Jesus never existed. There is no historical document or evidence that Jesus ever existed in person. Jesus was created in AD 325 by the Council of Bishops under the God Emperor Constantine. And they gave birth to Trinity, what you call Holy Trinity, gay men, gay gods. God with gods without a goddess, they are gay. Homosexuality, holy trinity is homosexuality. So I love my family, I love myself, I love my friends than any god, especially gods I cannot see, and that's why I titled this tangible evidence. You have to demand for tangible evidence for your for your belief, for your faith, for your religion. For whatever testimony, for whatever things you had, and they want you to believe it, demand for tangible evidence. Something tangible, something you can touch, you can feel. Tangible evidence, something that can be proven orally, with documents, orally. You say there is God, let God come and say it himself, if that God is it oral evidence is also good evidence but if no god speaks every god every god is speechless every god is dumb every god is deaf every god is impotent every god whether you call that god jehovah yahweh allah jesus mary gods and goddesses that people fear and worship that no, no other person can see they are what useless in reality they are speechless they cannot come and speak for themselves they cannot so tangible evidence is very important let me say i tell people my my mother is uh, is alive and my mother is 200 years old my mother can do anything my mother can solve your problem my mother can heal your sickness and the people believe me then they come to me say okay i want to see that your mother so that your mother can help me as you say i say just believe my mother is alive just believe you will say i'm crazy and you will begin to tell people many bad things against me but that's the same thing you are doing in religion 
you haven't seen that God. You haven't seen that Jesus. You haven't seen that Mary. You haven't seen that angel, those angels and those demons, those Satan. I mean, the, the Satan they tell you about, you never seen all those beings, but you believe they exist. Then in your time of need, you can't see them. When you are enjoying life, you say God is blessing you. When you are not enjoying life, you say devil is, is after you or punishing you. Now, grow up. Do you think now if I lay down and sleep and I'm in my dreams, something begins to make me maybe to, to, to struggle or I begin to say, in Jesus' name I bind you, get out in dream. You think I will wake up and uh, let that bother me? No, I've crossed that bridge, bomb it. No way. You say nightmare, nightmare. I turn my nightmare to merriment. You say nightmare. Because I know it's from my thoughts. They are not real. And also my thoughts, my mind can go before me. My mind can travel to far distance and know something and communicate it to me. My, my conscience also communicate to me. <laughs> you, did, you need tangible ed evidence for what you believe. Not just mere promise. It is when you have tangible evidence, that's when you can prove people wrong. All right. That's when you will stand with all boldness, no matter who is against you, no matter who is mocking you, you show them proof. Because those mocking you don't have proof. All they have is hearsay. What somebody said 20 years ago, or 10 years ago, or 2,000 years ago, that's all they have. What they have is what somebody wrote in a book to distort the truth. Like the Bible, the Torah, the, the, the Quran. How many of you know that Genesis is not the first book of uh, Torah? How many of you know that? The actual books that the Judaism have is four. Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, and the Deuteronomy. But they found out, how can we put out this story of Exodus? When there is no proof, we are here already. That's why they made up Genesis. And they put it in the first book. It's not the first book in their own history. It's not. They made it up later. That's why the story of Adam and Eve is made up. Then Christianity tapped from it. And begin to add Jesus there. <laughs> Say, is Jesus, Jesus is, the, is the only son of God. So if Jesus is the only son of God, all the children of God are, are daughters of God, including you. <laughs> That's why they call you bride of Christ. You are a woman. Uh, you'll be making your mouth. You are against bisexual, right? Those people that are bisexual. The, the man that decided to say, oh, now nah, I'm a woman. A woman that decided now to say, oh, I'm a man. And you are against them. But you are worshipping the same God, the same Jesus. I have the same thing. <laughs> Jesus is the only son of God. That's what your book says. So you are a daughter of God. That's why it's been, I think, Second Corinthians chapter 6 said, <laughs> you know, sons, of, sons and daughters of God. So who are the sons when Jesus is the only son? Nonsense. The people in your village, they don't have the information you have. The people who are against the factual truth you are pre presenting always know they don't have the information you have. If they have the same information you have, they will say the same thing you are saying. That's why you need to be you need to be talking to them, working them up, keep posting. My, my trans people are reading what I'm posting. I don't see them like my post. I don't see them comment on my post, but I know they are reading it because after just once in a while, you will see why we say all oh, this nonsense you are posting, all oh, this rubbish you are posting. I say, yeah, you see, I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. I am not crazy like them. I'm not stupid like them. I don't do things without knowing what it will do to me or what it will bring to me. I'm not doing it out of fear. No, I'm doing it with hope that they are reading it and one day they will gain the, info, the knowledge I gained and they will say even better than me because most of them are more educated than me. So they know how they can present it with better words 
to also reach those who, who education is deceiving. <laughs> I am not that well educated, but I'm intelligent. Your education is bullshit to me. You see how you are, you are, uh, the world is suffering because educated people are running the world. We need illiterates to regain power. Illiterates that are intelligent. <laughs> That's why you see educated ones, they still operate by blind faith. They don't they are still stupid. That you educated doesn't mean you are you are you are you are, you are not stupid. You still believe in God, if you still believe in Jesus, you still believe in imaginary beings, still believe there's a spiritual world out there which you cannot prove, you are still stupid. Does not make you it does not give you intelligence. You are educated, but stupid. As our people used to, as our Nigerians used to call it, educated fools. Who are the ones running the world? Who are the ones, you know, making the world miserable for people? Educated fools. They went to school only for them to gain power to be suppressing people, enriching themselves. Why the masses are suffering? There's no reason for any single person in this world to suffer, to be in lack and want. Because everything we need to live and enjoy life has been has been made available even before we came. Nature has them in place. We are part of the nature. Why are we paying for it? Why are we suffering for it? When you are well informed, you will laugh out loud when those who are not well informed are attacking you. You, are, you, are, you said there is no God. There is no Jesus. You did not call them. You did not mention their name. They come after you. Fighting for that same God. You say that God. And they say that, that God exists. You are, you, are, you are a fool. The fool say in his heart, there is no God. Read that place again very well. Number one, nobody know the content of your heart. The person that wrote that in the Bible is talking about himself. David was a fool by saying it in his heart. He cannot say it with his mouth because his people will reject him. His God will punish him. So he said in his heart, there is no God. And I said, at your age, you're supposed to learn from that fool. That fool said the truth. Fools also say the truth. If a fool tell you one plus one equals to two, will you reject it and say because that person is a fool? No, the person tell you the truth. But the educated one tell you no, one plus one, one plus one equals to one. You believe that one is said because they're educated. Oh, uh, because they have uh, they, they are authority. They are the ones who then to, do, to, to, to say the truth. No. The fool can tell you the truth. Yes. And if the fool tell you there is no God, <laughs> learn from that food they make this thing known to you even in your bible but you don't want to listen they tell you their god is the son they told you that in your bible god is the son but you know you say no there is god in heaven heaven is not real there is no plant in heaven there is no look go to heaven there is no no tree you can see in heaven Everything real comes from the earth, and everything real is in the earth, in the universe. Not in the heaven where you point out, you know, no, no place. Just like what they keep telling me, one day you will see. No, I said today is what? Well, today is one day. Today is that day. And the day you expecting for me to go back to God, to Jesus, was yesterday. It cannot come again. You need tangible evidence for your faith. Tangible evidence is very important. Look at the police people, the detectives. When, when, when there is a crime, they look for tangible evidence. They don't just go by words of the mouth. Oh, there was a shooter there. He killed somebody. Okay, they, so they, they, they just arrest. You know, American police, they don't operate like Nigerian police or African police. Nigerian police, somebody commit one crime. They go to street, begin to arrest everybody. Arrest everybody, John. <laughs> They begin to arrest everybody. Everybody is a suspect. In every, that's why you see when something happens in Nigeria, a certain place, everybody is running away. Because if they catch you, I don't follow. At least you will bring to 20,000. I don't follow. You must bear yourself. I know they tell you bail. Bailing is free. Uh, liars. Free for where? Not free anywhere. You need that evidence. A piece of air, a piece of hair, like in America here they have 
they have found out the killer, the real killer, or the real culprit, just by a piece of hair. That's why they tell women, if somebody is raping you, fight, struggle, something must drop from that person. And the detectives can use it as tangible evidence to track the person and arrest the person. And you see how they wrongly you uh, know convicted and the jail black people who did not commit the offense because somebody bring false evidence then after some years they found out is is false see evidence not all evidence is true not every you have to know is the right one you need the tangible one you need the tangible that somebody wrote a document and brought it doesn't mean it's the truth Paul says the law doesn't mean God is the truth or he's saying the truth. No, it is written doesn't mean it is the truth. No. Jesus said doesn't mean it's the truth. The Bible said doesn't mean it's the truth. The prophet said doesn't mean it's the truth. What is greater than God? What is greater than the prophets? What is greater than whatever? Even the, the whatever people documented, what is greater than the, your brain? You have your brain to make your own judgment. Put things together and you come to that conclusion after you see the evidence very tangible there is you cannot make wrong decision the reason why we make wrong decision is because we base our decision on false evidence or something that is not tangible oh because the way she look i love her she must be a good mother she must be a good wife and after some time oh no she is the devil one lady tell me uh um uh, uh, s she have baby with this he says she's she's cra he's crazy he's this i said remember he was not so when he got you pregnant and you have a child he was not so he said no i didn't know that time of course <laughs> if you know you wouldn't have done that you didn't go you didn't ask for tangible evidence you just you every one of us suffered that don't tell me you never suffered that if you're not dog false evidence somebody made up something and show you you just believe because okay the person show me this thing no you have to do your own investigation ask questions how do you get this how how did it come about is you can do that you have your brain to do that don't let anyone push you into just believing blindly and accepting something blindly because you saw something you say, oh, I went to Israel. I saw the tomb of Jesus. I said, no, people made up that, those nonsense. People build them. And those of you that still believe in Israel, the tomb of Jesus was uh, placed or buried. Jesus was never buried. Where Jesus placed. Remember, Romans destroyed that place, they tell you, in AD 70. And you think they see the tomb of Jesus. They saw it. They said, no, leave this one. Let us destroy others. But leave this of, that of Jesus. Nah, <laughs> that's bullshit. You need tangible evidence. Let me give you another example of evidence. That, let's say you put television and the DVD player in a public place just to help people, right? You have the, the anybody can make up receipt, right? Anybody can make up receipt. But when it comes to that, uh, those uh, appliances, the remotes we are dedicated to them. The TV remote, no other. TV remote we operate it, unless you have the master one or unless somebody that know how to program it will program it into that that's how it can work so let's say you brought receipt somebody has brought receipt and there's um the receipt says okay this is your TV maybe the the, the code no, the number they put there or the serial number you know people change serial number to say something okay so they put it there but let's say you come with receipt receipt says this sharp television belongs to you and this sharp dvd belongs to you the other receipt also said the same thing to the other person you don't need the master remote to prove who is doing anybody can buy master remote you can go to and buy it and program it and be using it for anything he said uh, it can it can be used on but if you have the the remotes dedicated to those to those gadgets no matter what any other person is saying you know that person is lying I imagine you gave it to somebody else the remote and the receipt you gave it to the, automatically that person will claim is mine you cannot claim it's yours 
You cannot because number one, the person will not bring the receipt. <laughs> you, maybe you say, let me go to the store. Why bury the store don't exist anymore? Okay. Now, before you go to the store, quit store. <laughs> we, we come and say, no, it's you no. Know. But I'm giving you every day, like in public, what will make people judge the owner of this television and the DVD. You bring the remote. Pum, pum, pum. Okay, yeah, you see a TV. Or oh, somebody bring another remote. Pum, pum. It's not working, people. It's not yours. It's simple to know the truth. The problem is religion has taught people to run away from the truth, to deny the truth. They tell you faith is the substance. No, faith is not substance. Substance is something tangible, something you can touch. You cannot touch faith. You cannot hold faith. And you know that the faith without works is dead. Dead is real. I mean, work is real. Works is something you can do. Something you can verify yourself. You can walk and make things. You cannot believe things into existence. You cannot fit anything into existence. You have to walk. So work is substance. Faith is not. The religion taught you that faith is substance. I believe there is God. I believe in Jesus. I feel Jesus in me. You, are, you don't know what you are feeling. But haven't you seen somebody? You feel, oh, I love this person. I, I feel this person will love me. You go there and say, I am married. Oh. <laughs> you are disappointed because that's all feelings. Your faith is based on feeling. You're supposed to know that you need tangible evidence. When you have tangible evidence, let the dogs keep barking. Let them keep cursing because I know now myself that God cannot touch me. Satan cannot touch me. No imaginary being, no God that is worshipped, no God, no goddess that is worshipped can do anything to me or for me. I don't need them. And if you worship them, ask them, they will tell you they don't need me. I am above them. I am above Jehovah. I am above Allah. I am above Yahweh. I am above Jesus. I am above Mary. I am, I am above NJ Michael, NJ Gabriel. I am above Satan. I am above demon. I am above devil. What is that God or goddess or that spirit you worship? I am above them. A spirit you speak for does not exist. The real spirit speaks for themselves. I am a spirit. You are a spirit. You can speak. I can speak. We can act. They tell you God is a spirit. Have you seen God speak? God is not a spirit. God is man-made. Man is spirit. Man makes things. Man speak. Man shows up. You need the tangible evidence, my people. Stop believing the lies they made up. I want you to believe it now. It is time you verify your faith. It is time you prove your faith. For those of us that are no longer operating in that faith, congratulations. Keep the fire burning. Keep the light shining. They cannot dim the light. They cannot stop the sun from shining. The sun is the truth. Everybody, the sun is not moon to somebody else. No, it is sun to everyone. So you need to be courageous every time. Keep spreading the knowledge. If you have that knowledge, spread it without fear, without faint, without favor. Because we were born to do this. And for those rising against us, they lack the knowledge that we were prepared for this before they were conceived in their mother's womb. And the truth shall prevail. Peace.